Hello everyone. This video tutorial is second lecture of beam analysis in Abacus. And beam is overhanging beam carrying a point load, a moment, and then uniformly distributed load. So modulus of elasticity of beam is 200 gigapascal and Poisson's ratio is 0.3. Section of the beam is rectangular with width as 131.63 and 263.20 as depth. So this beam is problem 3.1 from chapter 3 bar element. Book introduction to finite element analysis using MATLAB and Abacus. Chapter 3, this is beam element and problem 3.1. 3.1 and the solution of this problem what is in the book. So I am going to compare that with Abacus results. So required is deflection at nodes, rotation at nodes and reaction forces. And additionally, I am going to plot shear force diagram and bending moment diagram. Analysis in Abacus that contain two part, one is a molding and one the other one is a visualization of results. So in the molding, so these are the steps which I will follow. And then is analysis to create job. And the second part is results and result visualization and then plotting and uh, getting results, writing uh, report file. So there are no set units in uh, Abacus. So you need to use your own set of unit. And in this problem, for dimension, I'm using meter, loads, Newton, and stresses or modulus of elasticity, I'm using Pascal. Set work directory, a folder where you want to save all your results, and then you need to save model. This is Abacus CAE, and I'm using Abacus 2020. So here is a folder where I want to save my results. I'm just copying it. and file set work directory okay and then i'm going to save model claim i set as beam 2d overhanging okay so here you can see that it is saved in destination folder in abacus that is a default viewport background so if you want to change you need to go view and then graphic option and here you have viewport background i'm going to set it solid color white okay and then apply so you can change a viewport background color as per your choice first step in the model or modeling is using part module create part and these are the steps 2d deformable wire and approximate size of viewport need to keep that two times of maximum dimension which is 50 because the maximum length of uh, beam is 22 so you can use module so here is a module so these are the modules or you can use that model tree so to create part click on create part and it is a 2d deformable wire and approximate size here I'm going to keep at 50 name of the part I am keeping at beam 2d continue and now it is an XY plane so you can model that beam as a single line and then create partition or otherwise you can create in segments. In this tutorial, I am going to model it in segments. The first segment is 4, then 6 meter, then 4 meter and then 8 meter. So for this purpose, here you have connected lines. So starting from select connected line, starting from origin and then here you have like 4 meter. And then the next one is uh, 6 meter. And then the next one is again 6 meters. 4 meters, sorry. And the last one is 8. So I can add here the coordinate of the last point at 22 and 0. And then here cancel procedure. And then here you can have that auto fit view. So now these are the points. And I can add dimension to these points here by clicking on auto dimension auto dimension and select uh, sketch done and it is now you can see that 4 meter 6 meter 4 meter and 8 meter and then done and then sketch the section for the wire so done so now you can see a beam is created and I have modeled it in four segments 
Next step is to create material using property module and mechanical elastic type and need to add modulus of elasticity which is 200 gigapascal so it is 200 e raised per 9 and Python's ratio 0.3 so here I can change to the property module and this one is a create material or in model tree I click on materials and then mechanical elasticity elastic and type is isotropic need to add here 200 e 9 and Python's ratio as 0.3 and name change as steel. So now the material is created and you can see that a material is there. So that is the material if you uh, later want to change anything so you can change. Next step is in the property module need to create profile and profile is rectangular with width as 131.6 3 millimeter is e raised per minus 3 and b as to 63.2 e raised per minus 3 and I'm going to name it as rectangular and again for uh, this profile so you can create profile uh, from here using property module or in the model tree you double click on profile to create profile so profile I name is a rectangular select rectangular continue so width is 131.63 into 10 to raise power minus 3 or 263.20 e minus 3. So that is rectangular profile. Click OK and then you can see here a rectangular profile is generated. Next step is in the property module create section and category is beam. Type is beam and I am going to name it as OH beam overhanging beam. So here again in the property module you have here create section or you can use tab to create section here or otherwise here is the create section so it is beam and type is beam I rename that uh, na named it as OH beam continue and now profile name is rectangular which I have already defined and material is steel which is already uh, created and click OK so now you can see that overhanging beam profile is created in the property module need to assign beam orientations and select sketched beam and enter and OK so now in the property module here you have set assign beam orientations so click on beam orientation I'm not going to create any set so just uncheck it so select the region to be assigned uh, beam orientation select that beam so done and then these are the default values so you can see in 3d okay and click OK and now that done so here beam section is being assigned one in the property module assign section a region need to select and section which already uh, created there and then in the viewport view you can go to part display option to see beam profile so in the property module here you have assign section or in the model tree beam 2d there you have create section so create section Oh, sorry section assignment so the section assignment when you click on section assignment you select the region to be assigned section and then I'm going to select that beam and then done and now it says that which section because I have created only one section overhead and hanging beam so then is okay so now the section is being assigned but if cross section is appropriate you need to go to view and then you have here part display option so click on part display option and then here you have in general here you have render beam profile apply ok and in 3d so you can see that beam profile so it is a rectangular beam profile with the box zoom so you can check that next is to create mesh using mesh module and there are two parts here sheet seed edge then mesh part and then assign element type so here again you can use that property module oh sorry a module for mesh and here you have seed edge seed edge and then select the region done and then here I am going to keep it as point like as here by size or by number so I am going by num uh, size so you can go by number and then apply ok and here you can see uh, 
so these are nodes which you have created and then that is a seed so the next one is here you have mesh part so click on mesh part it say there okay to mesh part yes and now it's being meshed and the next one is here assign element type click there select the region so select the beam done and now you have option here in the family is beam element library is standard geometric order is linear and then you have b21 to node linear beam in plane so i am going to select that one and now it's done so now the part is being matched next is uh, using assembly module create instance and create instance from the part and then select part so it is simple here you can go and assembly module and create an instance or otherwise here in the assembly module click on instance click on instance and then uh, create geometry for parts and part is beam 2d which you have already created okay and now you can see that there is a beam 2d and once being uh, uh, assembled so you can see that uh, coordinate system is assigned next in the step module need to create step and the procedure type is journal static journal uh, journal and i'm going to name as static load so here you have step or otherwise under that assembly you have step so i can double click on step to create that step is initial procedure type is journal and then is a static journal so i, I named that as static load so continue and leave that all option as it is okay so now static load is being created next step is to create field output or modify field output so displacement force reaction and for shear force and bending moment n force so that is required so now in the step module you have here create field output or based on the analysis here abacus already created a field output okay so that is a default uh, based on analysis type so it checks few stresses i am not interested strains not interested contact not interested and in the displacement it is only translation and rotational displacements are required and in the forces uh, reaction forces and concentrated forces are required and the next one here you need to click here so nodal forces in beam section orientation and force in beam section so section orientation so that i am going to select okay so now the required outputs they are requested in field output next step is in a load module need to create load so there are three types of load first i am going to create that concentrated or point load and step is what you have already created category is mechanical type is concentrated force and select a point where you want to apply and then cf2 as minus 2 e minus 3 so here in load the first one is create load or otherwise otherwise in here let me here you have loads you have loads here so double click on it and then load one name i'm going to rename as point load step which is already created mechanical and then concentrated force continue and that is being applied at this node done and now it is cf2 and it is minus 20 e3 minus 20 kN because it is acting vertically downward okay see that a load is being applied at this point which is a second segment at 20 kN load is being applied there now i'm going to apply the next one next step in the load module is to create load and this time is udl all the steps are same but only need to select type of load and and that line load represents udl and then you need to select edge and component 2 of that component 2 it is in vertical direction so now again here is a load so the first load is point load and now i'm going to create a load i rename at ud load 
and then step is static journal and here you are going to select line load so line load and then continue and here you need to select edge where it's being applied done and then component one is along x direction and component two is along y direction so minus 5 e raised by 3 it is 5 kN acting in a vertically downward direction so that load is being created u load now the next one the third load is moment so again in the load module create load and type is moment and then select a point and cm3 it it mean that this is a moment along uh, z axis so moment direction of the moment is clockwise so abacus uses clockwise moments as negative if it is anti clockwise moment so you add that as plus cm3 is minus 5 e3 so again i can go here create a, another load okay name that as moment static load and then here is a moment continue and select the point for the uh, load so here is a point done and now it shows here only cm3 and it is minus 5 kilonewton meter minus 5 e3 so minus 5 is for anti-clockwise okay so now you can see a load is being applied and i called it as moment so that is a moment that's a point load and that is the load so all loads are being applied next step is to create boundary condition and there are two boundary conditions one is fix at zero distance and one is roller at three so first i'm going to use that fix so again in the load module create boundary condition and step is initial category mechanical and then need to select displacement region and then select region in the load module this is the second one is the create boundary condition or you have here bc so i just click on it so boundary condition I named that fix and then step is initial step is initial mechanical displacement rotation continue select the region for the boundary condition I'm going to select this point then done and now because the fix so all translational and displacement rotations set to be zero okay other boundary condition is a length 10 and is a roller so again here click on boundary condition or the second one here so roller mechanical displacement rotation continue and I'm going to select this point and here select the region for the boundary condition that is being done and now for the roller support it is free to uh, rotate uh, roll in x direction so only u2 I need to set 0 and rest I need to leave because they are all present there click ok so now two boundary conditions are being applied now model is finished all steps which I just brief and I have created all those stuff next in the analysis need to create job and first I uh, like to change model name and then data check and then submit so here again in the module so that is a job and you can create a job here or otherwise I am going to close that mod and here in the job I double click on it okay and here I can create job so I am going to rename that model beam OH so that is a beam and then this job I am going to rename that beam OH continue so uh, for jobs uh, spaces or full stops are not allowed so beam OH continue leave that everything as it is and now you can see that one job is created so I am going to submit data check so data check submitted and then it takes some time to run so check running and then it will come finish so data check is important to check that if you have followed all the steps in uh, in the model so now you can see that check is completed so once it's completed without error I'm going to submit it okay and submit it. it after some time it's changed to running and then after some time is completed the job is completed so when the job is completed it's mean that this model which contain this model part 
which contain model and analysis so that is done is need to go to results and visualization so here on the job if you right click it and then results if you go to results click results and now in the output database you will have here otherwise you can go file open and then open results from here so that these are the results so now you have that odb file in the results and in the results you have different options here so in the visualization module so you can go common option you can change label uh, you can show element label show no label so that is very simple here here you have common option so click on the common options and then you have common plot options common plot option here you can change deformed scale factor okay so that is and then here you have label so show element label show node labels so if i apply so you can see that in the yellow color so they are being so here so these are element and labels but it is like there are so many so i'm not going to check uh, so just show element node labels so apply okay but the color is not that much visible on white background so i can change their labels and then i can change color to black okay and then you can show node symbols okay so in this way so you can see that now the node labels are a little bit visible compared to the previous one in the visualization module need to visualize result this is just visualization and i'm going to check that what is the displacement and reaction forces so so here uh, this this one is field output dialog and here i can change it to u and then in the u so that is a magnitude and here you can see that the maximum and minimum magnitude of it so then that is the u1 then is u2 and then the other one are the reaction forces here so these are the reactions you can see uh, reaction forces here and then concentrated forces so there are concentrated forces here so and then that is u r3 that is a rotation so from here you can visualize it and if you so that is undefined model that is a defined model without contour it just give you maximum and minimum values and here you will have that defined model with contour and if you want to plot both deformed and undeformed model so that is for deformed and undeformed model here you can see is in the visualization need to get value of displacements okay and for that need to use prob nodes component all uh, components and then display group and write to file deflection at nodes and rotation at nodes are required so for that purpose i'll go here and now this is a little bit little bit tricky but like we only want at node 1 2 3 4 and 5 and remember that when we are going to model that beam in step so starting from 1 and then in the segment so abacus automatically start node number from here 1 2 3 4 and 5 so here if i go to uh, node labels so just show node labels apply and i can see that the first node is there and that is the second node and then then we have third node somewhere there and then the last node here is node number 5 so for this purpose uh i'll uh, here i'll go u and magnitude and here you have prob values so in the tools if you go into tools and then query and that is the prob value you can use here or otherwise you can use the values here so the prob value and then here select from the viewport now i am going for keen label and then nodes and component all and it says that beam 2d and i can add here node 1 node 2 node 3 32 is being repeated 3 4 and 5 so i am going to delete that so delete row and now i want to visualize these results so just click here and then i am going to hide node labels and you can see that so these are the values 
so these are the values of here u1 and u2 so so here are the values of the nodal displacement but they are in millimeter so if i see the values in abacus so that is 0 0.015 then that is almost 0 then 0 0.128 and minus 0 0.534 and these values are very much similar to which are given here so the next one if i want to create a report of it so i write to the write file and then here I am going to name that beam OH report and then number of significant figure you can change from here and then I click OK. So now here beam report OH that report is created so which contain only uh, displacement at the nodes. The next one uh, to get rotational displacement similar way rotational displacement UR and then here I can I have here uh, rotational displacements and these rotational displacements they, uh, from the book it is 0 0.56 minus 0 0.18 minus 0 0.4 and minus 0 0.53 and the same values are here minus 0 0.05 minus uh, so that's a plus and these values they exactly matches with the values in the book now the next step is uh, to get reaction forces at prop values and reaction forces are on the sports and sports are at node 1 and 3 so I'll click here and that is RF reaction forces in magnitude I'll use prop and node and then components all so node label as 1 sport is at node 1 and then roller sport is at sport 3 so these are sports reaction so if I want to so these are support reactions so, and then if I want to write a file so just append to the file okay but I need to first close that okay and now it is being appended to or added to already created node file here you can see so these are the reaction forces uh, they are being added now next is to plot shear force and bending moment diagram so to plot these diagram, create path in the visualization module and type is a node list and I'm going to name that as path node list because I know that uh, number of nodes are from 1 to 5 for the uh, all uh, necessary sections of the beam so I'll just add them manually so now in the visualization so you have here here you have create path or uh, in the tools you need to create path here so you can create path from there or in the result tree so you can create path so path and then it is I named it as path node list from the node list and then continue now you have so many different options so you can view port selection so you can set from uh, selection or I am going to input them here manually 1 2 3 4 5 okay so if I click ok so now I can check where the path is actually so you can see that path is 1 2 3 4 5 so these are on the points where I want to find shear force and bending moment diagram so in this way so uh, a path can be created next step is to uh, create or plot shear force diagram so create XY data field output is n force so2 source is the path which is already created there and x is the true distance and plot and i'm going to save that so it's very simple now here you have x y data in the model tree or here you have create x y data create x y data from the path continue and now i have path is an old list and then x values is a true distance or x distance you can say x distance or true distance is it doesn't make any difference and then y values are the field output field output I click here and in the field output I am so this is a nodal force in vertical direction so apply okay and that is a plot so that is a plot for shear force so uh, 
and I can save that with a shear force diagram and cancel and how to label that and how to modify that graph so you can watch my first lecture and that specific part of shear force diagram in the first lecture. Next step is for uh, plot bending moment diagram and again it's very much similar to the shear force. So visualization create xy data field output is n force so6 and source is the created path x value two distance and then plot. It's very simple now again I can click here create xy data uh, using path continue and now that is a path node list and this time I'm going to select x distance field output is nodal force in beam section at so that six is for moment in z direction so apply ok and then it is being plotted so that is now uh, shear uh, bending moment diagram so I can save that as so that is being saved as bending moment diagram ok so now that is a bending moment diagram and it is being here is a bending moment diagram so you can modify uh, as per your requirement section is done so all the required in the problem so they are like values are written as a report and then shear force and bending moment are being plotted so now the summary of the tutorial so this tutorial is about analysis of an overhanging beam contain point load uniformly distributed load and then a moment and required is a deflection at nodes rotation at node reaction forces and to plot shear force and bending moment diagram and this is a problem 3.1 from chapter 3 beam element introduction to finite element analysis using MATLAB and Abacus. So in Abacus, so for the modeling I followed these step create part, create material, create profile, create section, assign beam orientation, assign section, create mesh, create instance, create step, modify field output, create load. So there are three types of load. So only the type is going to different and then selection point or edge is different and then create boundary conditions and then in the analysis to create job and the second part is the results in the results first using field output you can change using common option you can show element labels so you can show node labels and then you can visualize using field output dialog visualize displacement reaction forces and then you can write uh, you can uh, visualize values of uh, displacement and write to a file and then similarly reaction forces and to uh, draw shear force and bending moment diagram you need to create a path and uh, this path may be containing all the nodes along the beam but I have selected only where are the loads and supports are and then uh, to plot shear force diagram need to create xy data and then field output is n force so2 and then x distance the two distance or x coordinate uh, so x distance whatever you want to select and then create xy data for the bending moment diagram and then field output is then FRSO 6. So this is all about this tutorial. I hope you like this video tutorial and you find it uh, helpful. Thank you very much for watching. So if you have any feedback, so you can leave in comment section.